Hi, this is Yun Lao. Welcome to Korean class. Today, I'd like to give you some tips for fluent pronunciation. I believe that being aware of pronunciation will significantly help you improve both your speaking and listening skills in learning new language. Okay, first, let's talk about the pronunciation rule for the last consonants. Did you notice it? Last class, we have only practiced when the final consonant is n, l, m, n, like pan, pal, pam, pang. Even though all consonants can be used as a final consonant. I know, so except for d, z, b. Why? Because the final consonant has a special pronunciation rule. The sounds of final consonants were simplified to a few sounds to make it easier to pronounce. How do you read these syllables? Yes, ko, ko, ko. And how about these? Ka, ku. Ka k, ka k. No, it's wrong. As soon as you read like that, it becomes two syllable words. When k, 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 you know, they are family, goes to the final consonants, they are pronounced with a refrigerative sound, k, k. So you should read these three as just the one sound. Kak, kak, kak. Interesting. Like that, the final consonants p and p are pronounced as p. So it should be read in the same sound as ip, ip. How do you read these syllables? Mad, mat, mas, no. You must read these seven final consonants as one sound, t, t. If you say mad to pronounce it, it becomes a two-syllable word. That's wrong. So it should be read with the same pronunciation as mat, 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 mat. Mat, mat. It's amazing. Can you memorize those seven final consonants? I have a tip. D, T are family. And S, S, Z, Ch are also family. But the last H is lonely without siblings. I made a table for your understanding. These four n, l, m, n make one sound either at the beginning or at the end. So we will read them nan, nal, nam, nang. But the next three here have one refrigerative sound at the end. For example, k, k, k is pronounced as k. So you should read them nak, nak, nak. Totally same. P and p also has, have one sound, p, at the end. So, we will read them nap, nap, same. And here, those seven consonants, if they goes down as a final consonant, and also it has only one sound, t, t. So, not, 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 
not, not, same. Are you upset? I fully understand that you are confusing and struggling with this rule. But if you look at the same phenomenon that occurs in English, you can easily understand it as a characteristic of language. In English, letter C, H, is most commonly pronounced as a ch in child, cheese, cherry, much. And it can also be pronounced as k in ache, school, character, and as sh in machine, champagne, and also be silent in yacht. These variations of the pronunciation came from different origins, such as Greek, Italian, French, and Scotch, as you know. But Korean final consonant rule was made because we can't pronounce them as original sound value at the end. Are you still not confident? Then let's practice with some words. Check. 밥, 낚시, 부엌, 각. So the first 그 and the last 크, 각. Like a G-A-K sound. 집, 숲, 앞치마, 밥. So the first 부 and the last 푸, 밥. 꽃, flowers, I love it. Nut, 빛, 꽃, 팥빙수, 닷. The first, 드, and the last, 트, 닷. Here is another important pronunciation rule called linking rule. This rule appears frequently in most languages. To help your understanding, let me check English phrases first. For example, in pick up, people pronounce pick up rather than pick up. And also you can see the phenomenon here. Stop it. Did you? Got a car and his sister. In Korean, if there is a space holder, n, in the beginning sound, the final consonant in the previous syllable will be carried over to the space holder n. Because space holder means it's empty. For example, when you read this word naturally, the final consonant m carries over to the n, making it sound like pami, not Pam e. Shall you practice more? Uma Oshi Isso Mogyoil Katun Pakuro. Good. In the case of a double final consonants, the first one remains. And the second one is carried over to the next syllable. So we should read this as 달기, 달기. Let's practice more. Please remember, the first consonant remains, the second one moves. Okay, let's start. 값이 없어. 넓이 앉아 Good. We are talking about pronunciation. So, please don't touch the spelling. But be careful. There is an exception. If the final consonant contains 흐 흐 makes no sound. It's silent. So, we should read this. 좋아, 좋아. Not 좋아. That's wrong. 좋아. How about this word? 
when there are two final consonants at the end, like this, n and h. As we know, h is silent, no sound, and then n is moved to the next syllable because n is a, just a space holder, right? So this is ma ni. Yes, good. If you read this one, man he that's wrong okay so the meaning is a lot and many and much let's practice more ira ira as you know he is a silent and then l is moved to the next syllable space holder good and Quenchana, Quenchana. So h silent, no sound, and n is moved to the space holder. So Quenchana, Quenchana. This is another example. The song P Dam Numul of BTS has a chorus like this. Now you can read it correctly. 원해 많이 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 Good. Now the third loan word pronunciation rule and spelling rule. Many people asked me this question. Can you write down drama in Korean? You probably ran into a problem with the first syllable because there is no vowel after D. But as we learned, in Korean, consonants should be followed by vowel, always a consonant plus a vowel. So in this case, you should add U automatically under D. So we read it, drama, drama, drama. Bus also has no vowel after S. So, U is added and it is written as bus, bus. Does it make sense? Let's practice more. Egg, card, jazz, belt. And how about service? Look at the English spelling. Though there is a vowel E, after C, but you should add U because the last E is a silent in English. So you should read service. Now I believe you can read all Korean words, right? These are very famous Korean food and drinks. I think you already knew some of them. Let's read together. Kimchi. Kimchi is Korean traditional fermented food that has supplied vitamins in the cold winter. The next one, soju. Soju is a very popular alcohol in Korea. And sagwa. Sagwa. And pajeon. Pajeon. Pajeon is uh, like a Korean style green onion pancake. I love it. Ramen. Ramen. And jjimdap. Jjimdap. Great. Today we studied how to read the words by checking pronunciation rules. There are a few more, but they will be explained later. Next time, let's read the BTS song as a textbook by using the basic knowledge of Korean you have studied. Thank you for watching. 안녕히 계세요.